Alfred Schutz's theory of life world, navigating the labyrinth of social reality. In the vast expanse of sociology, Alfred Schutz stands as a luminary figure, particularly known for his theory of life world. This theory offers a profound lens through which to scrutinize the intricate tapestry of social existence. Rooted in phenomenological philosophy, Schutz's theory invites us to delve into the everyday experiences and interactions of individuals within their social environment. In this comprehensive exploration, we embark on a journey to unravel the layers of social reality as conceptualized by Schutz, shedding light on its nuances, implications, and applications. The Phenomenological Lens At the heart of Schutz's theory lies phenomenology, a philosophical method that prioritizes the study of human consciousness and subjective experiences. Phenomenology urges us to examine phenomena as they appear to individuals, devoid of external interpretations or frameworks. By adopting this perspective, Schutz aims to elucidate the subjective nature of social reality and the life world. Understanding the life world. Schutz introduces the concept of the life world, a term that encapsulates the everyday experiences, interactions, and meanings of individuals within their social environment. The life world serves as the stage upon which social life unfolds, shaping individuals' perceptions, actions, and interpretations. It is within this life world that individuals navigate various social realities, each characterized by its own set of norms, values, and symbols. To illustrate, consider the life world of a university student. Within the campus environment, the student encounters diverse social realities, including academic settings, social gatherings, and extracurricular activities. Each of these contexts presents unique norms, expectations, and modes of interaction, influencing the student's experiences and perceptions accordingly. Layers of Social Reality Schutz posits that within the life world, individuals inhabit multiple layers of reality, each imbued with subjective interpretations and social constructions. These layers of reality are not static or monolithic, but rather contingent upon individuals' perspectives and experiences within specific social contexts. For instance, an individual may perceive different realities within the family, workplace, or community, each governed by its own norms, values, and social structures. Consider the experience of an individual who holds multiple social identities. For example, a person may identify as a parent, a professional, and a member of a religious community. Each of these identities introduces them to different layers of reality, each with its own set of roles, norms, and expectations. Typification and Social Constructs Central to Schutz's theory is the notion of typification, which refers to the process of categorizing and classifying objects, events, and individuals based on shared characteristics or attributes. Through typification, individuals simplify and make sense of the complexities of the social world, creating cognitive frameworks that guide their understanding and behavior. Social constructs such as roles, statuses, and stereotypes play a crucial role in shaping individuals' perceptions and interactions within the life world. For example, consider the typification of a teacher or doctor. These roles carry certain expectations and responsibilities within society, influencing how individuals perceive and interact with those who occupy these roles. Implications for Understanding Human Existence Schutz's theory of life world holds profound implications for understanding human existence and social interactions. By emphasizing the subjective nature of reality and the role of interpretation in shaping individuals' experiences, the theory invites us to reevaluate our assumptions about the social world. It underscores the importance of empathy, understanding, and perspective taking in navigating the complexities of human existence. Moreover, the theory highlights the significance of intersubjectivity, the mutual understanding and agreement among individuals regarding shared meanings and norms. Through intersubjective communication and interaction, individuals negotiate and co-construct social realities, shaping their collective experiences and identities. Applications and Future Directions Schutz's theory of life world has broad applications in various fields, including sociology, psychology, anthropology, and communication studies. It provides researchers with a framework for studying the lived experiences of individuals within their social environment, 
shedding light on phenomena such as socialization, identity formation, and cultural diversity. Moreover, the theory offers practical insights for promoting empathy, social cohesion, and mutual understanding within society. By acknowledging the multiplicity of realities within the life world, policymakers, educators, and community leaders can develop strategies to foster inclusive environments and facilitate constructive dialogue among diverse groups. Conclusion Alfred Schutz's theory of life world offers a compelling perspective on the complexities of social reality. By emphasizing the subjective nature of reality and the importance of understanding the life world from the perspective of those who inhabit it, the theory invites us to explore the intricacies of human existence with greater depth and nuance. As we navigate the layers of reality within the life world, we gain a deeper appreciation for the diversity, complexity, and richness of human experience. By embracing the subjective nature of social reality and fostering empathy and understanding, we can cultivate a more inclusive and harmonious society where individuals can thrive and flourish in their respective life worlds.